This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! This Memorial Day, Christian McCaffrey showcased his musical talents to honor the United States Armed Forces. The San Francisco 49ers running back played an acoustic version of Zach Bryan's El Dorado, accompanied by his future brother-in-law, pianist Gus Culpo. The song El Dorado holds special significance as McCaffrey teamed up with the Grammy-nominated country music star to support the American military community through music. The choice of this song was not by chance, as both McCaffrey and Bryan have strong ties to the military and a deep desire to help those who serve. When the track was released, Bryan announced that all profits generated from the song would be donated to McCaffrey's foundation, 23 and Troops. This foundation was created to provide support to active duty U.S. military personnel, veterans, and frontline workers, helping them overcome trauma and PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Before becoming one of country music's fastest rising stars, Zach Bryan served in the United States Navy for eight years. His military experience and personal understanding of the challenges faced by service members brought powerful authenticity to his collaboration with McCaffrey. This personal and professional connection makes their partnership even more significant. McCaffrey's 23 and Troops Foundation focuses on helping active military personnel, veterans, and frontline workers overcome trauma and PTSD. According to the Foundation's website, 23 and Troops aims to bring together cutting-edge treatments in medicine and wellness to assist special operations veterans suffering from the lingering effects of PTSD or brain injury. The Foundation's mission is clear, to provide access to advanced treatments that not only address the symptoms but also help heal the root causes of the issues faced by those who have given so much to their country. Beyond medical efforts, the Foundation is also dedicated to raising awareness about the daily challenges faced by veterans and their families. McCaffrey and Brian believe that through music and art, it is possible to create a space for healing and understanding, where stories of resilience and overcoming adversity can be shared, inspiring others to seek help and support this vital cause. On Memorial Day, McCaffrey and Copo's performance was not just a display of musical talent, but also a powerful tribute to the sacrifices made by so many. The event served as a reminder of McCaffrey's ongoing commitment to the military community and his desire to make a difference in the lives of those who serve and protect the nation. With the initiative to donate the proceeds from El Dorado to the 23 and Troops Foundation, McCaffrey and Brian hope not only to raise funds, but also to inspire others to get involved and support similar causes. They wish that every note played and every word sung resonates as a symbol of gratitude and recognition for the service and sacrifice of American military personnel. This gesture by McCaffrey, playing piano alongside Gus Culpo, goes beyond music. It is an act of solidarity and empathy. It is a reminder that the spirit of Memorial Day extends beyond a holiday. It is an opportunity to reflect on the true cost of freedom and how each person can contribute to improving the lives of those who have served the country. The longer the San Francisco 49ers wait, the harder it becomes to finalize Brandon Ayuk's contract extension. This point was driven home on Tuesday when another significant wide receiver deal was announced. Nico Collins and the Houston Texans have agreed to a three-year extension worth an average of $24 million per year. Diana Rossini of The Athletic was the first to report the deal. The headline figures for Collins' contract are substantial. He will earn $72.75 million over three years, with $52 million of that guaranteed. For Ayuk, the Collins deal doesn't change his expectations regarding average annual salary. The 49ers star receiver reportedly aims to surpass the $28 million average that the Detroit Lions agreed to pay a Monterey St. Brown earlier this offseason. However, the guaranteed money component of Collins' contract will likely be of particular interest to Ayuk and his representatives, potentially complicating negotiations for the 49ers. While the full details of Collins' contract, including the specifics of the guaranteed money in terms of skill, salary cap, and injury clauses, have yet to be released, 
The figure of $52 million in guaranteed money places the 2021 third-round pick among the elite. According to Spotrac, this amount puts Collins in the top 10 among wide receivers for guaranteed money, which is notable given that the 2023 season was his first surpassing 1,000 yards. Prior to his 1,297-yard breakout season, Collins had never reached 500 yards receiving in a single season. IX team is therefore in a strong position to demand a guaranteed money total that comfortably surpasses Collins. Ayuk has achieved over 1,000 yards receiving in each of the last two seasons and has never had fewer than 700 yards in any of his four NFL seasons. This consistent performance enhances his bargaining power. Two years ago, the 49ers gave Debo Samuel $58.1 million in guaranteed money following his stellar 2021 campaign, which was also his first 1,000-yard season. Since then, Samuel has not reached four figures in receiving yards. The market for wide receivers has evolved significantly since Samuel's deal, and with the Texans paying over $50 million in guaranteed money to Collins after just one breakout season, Ayak has solid grounds to request guarantees that would place him among the top five at his position. San Francisco might be reluctant to meet such demands, but their protracted negotiation process has inadvertently increased Ayak's leverage. The longer they delay, the more leverage Ayak gains, as the market continues to set higher benchmarks for wide receiver contracts. Moreover, Ayak's consistent performance and his ability to maintain high receiving yards across multiple seasons bolster his case. He has proven to be a reliable and valuable asset to the 49ers, and his representatives will undoubtedly use these statistics to justify a higher guaranteed money figure. The 49ers now face a challenging decision. On one hand, they need to retain Ayuk, who has proven to be a critical component of their offense. On the other hand, meeting his demands could strain their salary cap and set a precedent for future negotiations with other players. This delicate balance between retaining top talent and managing the team's financial health is a dilemma that many teams face in the modern NFL. In the broader context, IX potential extension is emblematic of the evolving landscape of NFL contracts. As players continue to achieve remarkable feats on the field, they seek compensation that reflects their contributions and market value. Teams, in turn, must navigate these demands while ensuring they maintain a competitive and financially sustainable roster. Ultimately, the resolution of IAC's contract extension will not only impact the 49ers, but also set a benchmark for future wide receiver contracts across the league. It serves as a reminder of the dynamic nature of NFL contract negotiations and the ever-increasing value placed on top-tier talent. As the 49ers continue to deliberate, the clock ticks and the stakes rise, making the outcome of these negotiations a critical focal point for the team's future. Now it's your time to interact with us, leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.